hello students of class uh, uh, eight so uh, in the last class we have studied about uh, the protection of crops we have studied how there are different type of pests right p e s t s pests now what these pests do this pests destroy our crops our agriculture now now that there is pests we should find a way so that we can uh, control this pest as we have already learned that one tenth of the agriculture that we do every year is destroyed by pests. So we have to find a way through which we can control these pests. Now what are these ways? There are two ways by which we can eliminate these pests. They are chemical control and biological control. Now first let's learn about chemical control. Okay. Now chemical control is the process in which we use chemicals to kill these pests. And these chemicals are known as what? Pesticides. So what is pesticide? Pesticides are chemical substances which are used to kill pests. Right? This is the definition of pesticides. Now there are different type of pesticides. For different type of pests, there are different type of pesticides. Insecticides are used to destroy insects. The insects are there now, we have learned about in the last class, like this locust, termite, we will, this type of insects, to kill this type of insects, what do we use? We use insecticide. The pesticides which are used to kill insects are known as insecticides. Okay. Now, what is this? Fungi, fungicides. What are fungicides used for? Fungicides are used for killing or destroying fungus killing or destroying fungus sulfur and copper salts are some examples of fungicides okay sulfur and copper salts are example of fungicides likewise in insecticides carbaryl and melathion carbaryl and melathion are two types of pesticides these are two types of pesticides which are used to kill insects okay now uh, rodenticides are used against rodents what is rodents in the last class we have run uh, landed rats are known as rodents right so uh, this uh, rodenticides are used in your home also, also you must use some red kill right those red kills are all known as what rodenticides okay uh, spraying can be done uh, hand operately machines or by low fine aircraft how they how you can how you can put these pesticides in the crops you can either spray by using a sprayer right like this you must have seen like a sprayer like this like this the spray it right you can use a sprayer or you can use a machine or you can by low flying aircraft in in developed countries what they do in an aircraft they keep all these pesticides and they fly over the field and while flying they uh, uh, spray all the pesticides in modern days now they are using even drones to spray these pesticides now there are some students there are some advantages and there are some disadvantages of using pesticides now what can be those advantages are they kill pests quickly it is a very effective way. if you use pesticides they will kill the uh, pest very quickly they are easy to store and use they can be easily stored and they can be easily used they you can buy it from the market you can find them in jar like this right they are easy to use whenever you use uh, whenever you don't use put the lid and keep it like that right so it is very easy to use they the large variety of chemicals are available that can eliminate most pests a large variety like we have uh, studied here now insecticides are there fungicides are there rodenticides are there so there are different type of pesticides and they are effective for almost all kind of pests. Whatever pest is there, almost all the kind of pests can be controlled by these pesticides. These are the advantages. Now let's learn about the disadvantages. Disadvantages of using pesticides are pests can develop a resistance to a particular pesticide. Now what happened? Suppose you are using this is a carbaryl. Carbaryl you are using. Okay, C R B A R y l carbaryl you are using now what happened if you keep on using it again and again every year what happened the insects which were earlier dying because of this carbaryl now they may not die they may not die you must have seen in your home 
when you use mortin earlier the, uh, the mosquitoes used to die very quickly of mortin when mortin first came into existence the mosquitoes used to quickly die from the gas of the uh, mortin nowadays you see even mortin uh, some mosquitoes can even bear the smell of mortin so they have to continuously develop their formula because they form an immune uh, immunity for the uh, uh, whatever pesticides we are putting they uh, form an immunity for that uh, pesticides and they may not be effective number one disadvantage number two disadvantage is pesticides can affect wildlife when spread in a particular area now we are spraying one particular pesticide carbaryls for example to kill one kind of insect okay this insect is a harmful for us we are it is we have sprayed the carbaryl to kill this insect now there must be some other insects and other animals as well like uh, in water there are fish there are different kind of other insects as well which are not harmful it may affect all of them it may affect all of them so we are trying to kill one particular insects but in the process we might kill many other insects as well number three is pesticides can seep into the soil and drain into rivers and lakes causing pollution now pesticides are spread on the leaves of the plant but whenever rain will come what will happen those pesticides will go into the ground and like that it the water will uh, flow water will flow and it will uh, eventually go to some lakes or rivers and these pesticides are harmful this is harmful for animals uh, so it is it will be harmful for fish aquatic animal as well as humans right so that they, they pollute the water like that whenever you mix anything bad with the water what happens the water get polluted so pesticides can drain to the water bodies and create pollution right now what is the next point they can enter the food chain and build up from one feeding level to the next what does it mean students we all know the food chain right this is the food chain you can see in the picture the tree is being eaten by the deer the deer is being eaten by the lion the lion dies and decomposes and helps the plant to grow like this the food chain is there we human are in the top of the food chain we eat both plants and animals now these pesticides may somehow enter the uh, grass right enter the grass into the crops from crops it may go to human yes or no from food chain to food chain it is going for example uh, suppose humans eat what humans eat uh, uh, suppose humans eat uh, chicken that chicken depends on small small insects when pesticide is spread to the ground that pesticide may enter the body of the insect and there from that body of insect it may go to the chicken and when we eat chicken it can come to our body like that from food chain to food chain it can somehow enter our body right what is the next point being toxic they can affect the health of humans since they can enter our bodies through fruits and vegetables this should be washed thoroughly before being consumed that is why that is what i have said that this uh, pesticides are maybe very harmful for humans that is why we all should wash our foods properly before consuming okay now students next up is biological control now question comes what is biological control students biological control is a process in which a different type of insect or different type of animal is used which is not harmful for the crops to kill or to eat the insects or animal which are harmful for the crops for example this trichogramma insect okay what this insect does is this insect is not harmful for the plants or the crops now what this insect does is this insect injects its egg inside the egg of some other insect and this is the egg of an insect which is harmful which is a pest okay now while the egg of this trichogramma grows it consumes all the nutrients that is present in this egg now it kills the egg like this like this trichogramma helps to kill other pests we see this lady uh, lady beetle right this uh, ladybird beetle you must have seen this very beautiful insect right this insect also kills other, eats other animals this dragonfly you see this uh, you see this snake snake also kills the rats that are present in the field right this spider eats up uh, many uh, uh, in small small insects or pests which are present in the field this frog also kills lots of pests so this is the, so this is a process 
what is the process biological control is the process in which a particular type of insect or animal which is not harmful for the plants is used to eliminate the pests which are harmful for the uh, plants and crops okay so that is it for today in the next class we will learn about harvesting uh, threshing and winnowing okay students goodbye see you in the next class